For years, service organizations such as hospitals, banks, telecom operators, hotels, and universities have avoided Lean Six Sigma altogether. It's hard enough to define good service, let alone try to quantify and measure it. However, this changed in the past few decades. The toolkits for Lean and Six Sigma originated on the shop floor to largely improve manufacturing processes. Eventually, people involved with marketing, sales, customer service, and finance tried out some of the tools and found that the tools were just as effective in improving service support processes as they were with manufacturing processes. As word spread, the methodologies were slowly adopted by service organizations. Today, many service organizations from nonprofits like universities to profit-making enterprises like banks and hospitals use Lean Six Sigma to improve their organizations and build for the future of growth. The service industry has some unique characteristics which made the initial implementation of Lean and Six Sigma undesirable. For starters, the product output was intangible. It could not be held or felt, and defects could not be measured with traditional tools and equipment. The services themselves cannot be stored and used later. They must be consumed the moment they are produced. More importantly, the outputs are variable and change every single time. A service is often an action or an event. It isn't something that can be held in one's hands. For example, a doctor gives a physical examination or an insurance agent discusses a claim over the phone. When we think of a product, we think of something we can see, touch, smell, or hear. But a service has none of these. It is intangible, so we cannot measure it in the traditional sense. Services cannot be produced and stored for future use. The actions of a desk clerk when you check into a hotel is a service. Cooking a meal is a service. The output of a service cannot be stored and it must be consumed on the spot. You cannot simply hire someone to come in on Monday in order to clean your house for a party on Friday and somehow expect to store that cleaning in the closet until the weekend. You start consuming that output the minute it is completed and you continue to consume it until everything done during the service is reverted back to the previous state. The outputs of a service are variable. For example, a concierge at a hotel provides many different services. Each service is initiated by a customer request, and each request can be different and can result in many different outputs. Sure. We could argue that an oil change on your car is the same every single time, but is it really? Do you replace the air filters, windshield wipers, flush the transmission and radiator every single time you get an oil change? Of course not. Every service is unique to the circumstances at the time it was initiated. Because it is perishable, the output of a service is consumed at the same time or shortly after it is produced. In a call center, for example, the service is a solution to a problem. The solution is created and delivered to the customer at the same time. Okay, so you can go to a restaurant and take the leftovers home in a doggy bag. But when you reheat the food later, it's not the same. The experience and everything about it, the food, and everything else are no longer what you paid for. It's no longer the same experience. Quality control is crucial to the success of any business. It can either make or break an organization. Good quality products and services build trust and lead to repeat business. But bad quality costs an organization money and drives that business away. Every week, we upload new videos between 5 and 10 minutes in length, where we will focus on the concepts and strategic implementation of Lean and Six Sigma. As a master black belt, I am passionate about quality. And if you are too, then click subscribe to be notified whenever we upload our next Lean Six Sigma video.